Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Craig Nyker, who joins us today to talk about his experiences with education provider Tech Future Labs and his career journey in IoT. Thanks for coming along, Kriv, and welcome to the jam. Fantastic. Great to be here. Awesome. So just to start off, for those that haven't engaged or studied with um, Tech Future Labs before, can you tell us briefly what the Postgraduate Certificate in Connected Environments is all about? So Tech Futures Lab has developed the first postgraduate certificate uh, in New Zealand that focuses on using the Internet of Things and related connected technologies to really help drive better insights and better decision outcomes and decision making across all aspects as we engage with people, place and planet. Um, it applies specifically to business professionals, technology practitioners and community leaders who want to better understand how strategic data and data-driven insights can add value to their, to their environments by applying systems thinking uh, and the application of new technology. Awesome. And um, can you just to expand on that, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your involvement with Tech Future Labs and your kind of career journey to date? Oh, absolutely. So I'm a lead innovation industry advisor um, to Tech Futures Lab. I'm also the founder and current chair of the New Zealand Internet of Things Alliance, which is a member of the NZ Tech Alliance community. And I head up a strategy advisory firm that really focuses on the impact of exponential and disruptive technologies across industry and sectors. So within the IoT ecosystem, I'm particularly involved in mapping how actionable inside outcomes can be derived from IoT sensor collected data and how this derived information and these insights can really drive new opportunities, new business models, but also in correlation with other exponential and disruptive technology areas like AI and machine learning, cloud fog and edge computing, uh, the increasing area of 5G and new wireless networks, uh, the exciting area of augmented virtual mixed reality, and new areas like blockchain um, and decentralized networks as well. But what particularly interests me is how um, this business technology governance ethics intersection really sort of pushes forward that thinking. And this is really at the core of the Connected Environments Program at Tech Futures Lab. So what's driving the new way of looking at connected environments and IoT in general? IoT introduces massive new data collection and resultantly new insight perspectives from the analysis of all of this new data. These new insight perspectives challenge the status quo um, of ways we currently sort of live and interact with our world and our lives and conduct business. For businesses that use IoT sensor data, they really use it to inform better decision making, to build competitive advantage to improve customer experience and engagement, and that's really important, and to gain deeper insights into their business alongside improvements to productivity and efficiency. So IoT deployments will continue to become more strategic and cohesive in terms of that longer term planning and decision making, rather than tactical um, and in silos as many deployments are now. So this strategic focus will enable disruption by new business models, not just for, for commercial gain or for commercial interest, but increasingly so in the good for our planet and for good in general um, use cases. So in this context, IoT could, and in many cases is already having a significant impact on current business organization vision, uh, the strategies that are being used and more user and systems thinking centric engagement models. Fantastic. And just kind of expanding on that, how does IoT interconnect with other technologies like AI and 5G and cloud computing? One really key thing to remember with IoT is IoT is not a standalone technology and it can't be implemented in that way. So it can't be designed or implemented in isolations. And that's a core part of the Connected Environments Program at Tech Futures Lab as well. IoT is very much a complementary and correlated technology that's part of this wider exponential and disruptive technology ecosystem. So through the Connected Environments Program, 
we think about IoT not so much as being the internet of things, but much more as the interface of things, how things connect, how they engage, how they interact, how they transact. And it's really in terms of these connection points, hence the term connection environments for, for the course, for the postgraduate search. It's around these connection points with um, other technology sets like AI and machine learning, which enables IoT sensor collected data to be analyzed and output information and insights through that, um, through that cognitive analysis. Areas like cloud, fog, and edge computing that enables IoT data to be stored and processed at different stages, depending on outcome requirements. Increasing areas like 5G and wireless networks, which enable IoT scale via local and wide area connectivity. And this is a really core part of achieving those outcomes as well. And then areas like um, augmented virtual mixed reality, increasingly so we're hearing about the metaverse, um, which enables IoT driven or data driven insights to be presented and visualized in new creative and engaging formats. And as I mentioned previously, blockchain and decentralized networks, which also then work and enable IoT to not have single points of failure or single points of engagement, but really to open up that decentralized uh, model and also open up those data sets to, um, to areas at the edge. And in the New Zealand context, to really bring uh, the value of IoT, not just within our urban environments, but increasingly so to provincial and rural New Zealand as well. Awesome. And so with the postgraduate certificate in connected environments, um, why, what should someone consider when they want to leverage IoT and begin using it for their own purpose? So I would say, you know, start with data. This is a very data-centric model, and we have to think about IoT in terms of that data-centric approach. So start with data um, and the insights you'd like for better decision-making. So what data do you wish you had that complements data that you already collect to source through existing mechanisms? And how can these new data perspectives enhance your decision-making abilities? So it's adding IoT into that current lens of what you already have to enhance those future decision-making capabilities. So starting with the data and the opportunity and market context you've mapped, consider what IoT data collection sensors would be required to source that data. Investigate which communication networks are best suited to transmit that data. Look at the data management platforms, the cloud environments that can assist in turning that data into information and insights. And then most importantly, consider how best to present those insights back to your end users, stakeholders, and customers. And as I mentioned previously, it is then that connection and that interface between all of those other technology sets that really brings us to life. So that really represents the end-to-end -end IoT engagement model, both from a technology perspective, but also from a people, place, planet engagement perspective. And that's a way, I guess, to really leverage IoT to its full value potential, investigate how each of these areas can be optimized and really implemented in its best context. For sure. And just to finish off, um, from your involvement in Tech Futures Lab and the Community Environments Program, what do you see happening that inspires you the most? I'm really inspired by how much interest and discussion there is around IoT um, at the moment, particularly around that data centric, that insight driven approach. Um, you know, when uh, I had the idea for the New Zealand Internet of Things Alliance back in 2015 um, and really wanted to bring that ecosystem closer together, um, it was about creating more opportunities to really connect, promote, and advance IoT. Um, across all areas, not just technology, but increasingly so in the business and market context. So the Connected Environments Program at Tech Futures Lab really builds on this by enabling new creative and innovative connected IoT solutions to be explored and developed. And as I mentioned, not just in our current incumbent environments, but in new and engaging environments, um, increasingly so in the for good environment and in what's good for the planet. Uh, what's good for place, what's good for people, what's good for prosperity environments. So I'm also inspired how these solutions are being considered 
using more sustainable, ethical, and open approaches. And that's quite exciting for the whole IoT ecosystem domain at the moment. So it's a really um, fantastic to be involved in a program like Connected Environments that really challenges the status quo and opens up new perspectives on how this technology can best be applied for, um, you know, for that engagement, for that interaction, for that transaction across um, you know, how we look at people, place, and planet dynamics going forward. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, Kriv, and we look forward to hearing more about the Connected Environments program in the future. Fantastic. Thanks for your time, and uh, yeah, look forward to continuing this discussion and, uh, and talking about IoT more in the future.